Today we're going to be looking at colour ranges on these cheaper projectors as well as the more expensive ones and comparing the two as well as comparing it to say a standard HD TV and showing you guys the difference. My name is Matthew and you're watching another video by the MXQ project. So this very cheap LCD H1 projector goes for around 80 quid or about $110 and as you can see it's very limited in terms of its colour reproduction, the colour gamut is very small and when we play complex scenes like Kill Bill for example everything looks washed out and you do need to play around with the contrast settings to get it any better but still it doesn't look that great. And when we reviewed this we really just thought it was only good for say very brightly coloured cartoons such as Spongebob, Peppa Pig and so on and that's pretty much its limit. As far as films are concerned it's a big no-no unless, unless you're not really bothered by it. Now if we step up a bit and move on to something like a DLP projector such as this 720p Xkimi CC Aurora we can see a huge difference in terms of its colour reproduction and all the colours really do pop out and it's a lot brighter and just a lot nicer to look at. But still, this projector retails for about $500 and although it's fully portable and it's got some really good uses and of course you can check out the full review which will be in the description or just above me now, it's still not as good as a TV but will probably cost you a lot less than this CC Aurora. So as you can see on screen now, this is a clip, the exact same clip of Kill, Kill Bill using a HD TV and you know it, again it's night and day of course I'm using my camera to record this so the quality does get stepped down when recording projection but it's not a huge difference in what I'm seeing and what you're seeing there is that flicker there just please ignore that that is my camera but again there's not a huge difference between the actual recorded footage and me watching it on the screen just now now if we step it up even more and use this Xgimme H1 which is another DLP projector this is full 1080p and again we're just getting an even crisper image. Now this is getting much closer to that TV but guys this Xgimme H1 is about $700 to $800 and you could buy the same sort of TV, TV for what less than half the price if not less. I've seen 4K TVs for about $500 or about £300, £400. Now of course there's a lot more benefits to buying a projector because you can produce a much larger screen. They are of course portable and there's a few different benefits as well. But if you're not really into the whole projection thing and you just kind of want it thinking maybe you're going to achieve a much sharper image or a much bigger image you do need to have a much bigger budget when looking for a projector over say a standard TV set. What you need to take away from this video is basically if you want really good image quality and you don't have a big budget you should avoid projectors full stop. What you should do is just go and buy a TV set for a similar price and be done with it basically. If you don't have a big budget however and you're not really too fussed about the image quality then a projector like the Vividbright GB100, the Alpha Wise X or the Geolux CR760 which we've got reviews for on this channel, those three projectors are good and they do a half decent job and if you just want to get involved with projectors and just see what it's all about then choosing one of those three is an excellent option for you. Now if you've got a big budget then you can go out there and buy say an Xgimme H1 excellent projector full 1080p for about $800 or if you've got a little bit more to spend then the Xiaomi Mi projector is for you. Now of course there is many many different types of projectors out there and we couldn't possibly comment on them all. So it really comes down to what our experience is and what you expect and basically what we can show you guys from the projectors that we have here. Anyway I really hope you enjoyed this video and gave you a bit of an insight of what to expect from a, a cheap and expensive projector. My name is Matthew and you've been watching another video by the MXQ Project. Don't forget to check out the website mxqproject.com, Facebook group, Twitter at MXQ Project and yeah we really hope you enjoyed this video and we shall see you very very soon.